Statistics show a nationwide increase in the size of the homeless population, and they say the West Coast is the reason why. 11 News reporter Jessica Coombs tells us how Utah is handling the growing problem. The homeless crisis here in the state of Utah has been a heated discussion for over a year now, and people are saying that too many people are still out on the streets. You forget how privileged you are and that these people, I mean, clearly they have issues, but nobody deserves that kind of living condition. For a lot of people, finding a bed in Salt Lake is a tough job. For the people who can't stand in line at 10 a.m. at one of the local shelters, they have no idea where they're going to be sleeping that night. You might even see them next to a tree if they're lucky enough to have a blanket, just trying to stay warm. But finding a place to sleep is just the beginning of a more serious issue. We noticed that there were a lot of illegal things like drugs. Garbett decided he needed to do something about it. I lived in the homeless shelter for three nights and four days to see what kind of services we provide. I ate where, where they ate at St. Vincent's. I slept where they slept and just got to know, you know, the people that were there and, and what kind of services that we provide for them. Garbett says he was shocked at what he saw while waiting in line to try to get a bed. As I waited for three hours in line with, with others, I was really shocked to see what I saw. I watched Chewy as he must have done, I would say, 40 drug deals. And these drugs were being sold 15 feet away from the playground at the road home. The Rio Grande neighborhood has been grappling with homelessness for years. But even after millions of dollars and an operation that Garbett says took serious convincing to get legislative support, people say they still feel unsafe and avoid places like Pioneer Park. Many people say the project has dispersed the homeless population across the state. But Garbett says other cities have only... A trickle of what the Rio Grande area has been flooded with for years. He says a change in the community attitude towards homeless people could help. We want to help them, not exclude them, but we want to help them. Reporting in Salt Lake City, Jessica Coombs, 11 News.